Good morning guys, it's Vania from George, South Africa. Um, it's early morning, I'm waiting here for the guys to arrive. They will probably be here in a couple of minutes of time. We're going out to Uniondale, a uh, small little Karoo town uh, where there's not a lot of people going out there to minister to the people, very poor community. So we're going out there just to preach the gospel, pray for the sick, and we're doing it in a different way this time. We didn't plan any food or any place to sleep we trusting the holy spirit to lead us where to go and what to do so we didn't make any plans or anything of that sort um so we're excited to to allow the holy spirit actually to to lead us this weekend in everything we do um so i'm just standing here waiting for the guys um i think i hear the car coming now that's probably some of them arriving yep there's niku arriving and johan so uh I'm looking forward to this and we'll keep you posted on everything we do. Um, so yes, let's let's get moving. Thanks. Morning. We're standing here on the corner, Niku and Milan and me and Banner, and we're on the way to Union Dale, going to serve and uh, and uh, have divine encounters with people, and, uh, and excited to be on the way. And Milan. the Lord already sent us the first guy out here where you won't expect somebody to stop, while especially while you're busy praying. Um, so yeah, through the Holy Spirit, we were able to to deliver some messages to him as well to the guy who just stopped Ruben and he's on his way so there's a reason for everything I'm looking forward to it don't know what to expect but I'm looking forward okay so we finished praying here on the corner as you heard the guys each of them saying something we here on the, on the corner here of Otsuan and George and uh, yeah like Milan said we had an awesome guy that just randomly stopped here and, and we ministered to him and prayed for him and we, we blessed him and it's awesome to see a guy just driving past us and turning and stopping and uh, coming and praying with us so that was awesome and we thank you for that father uh, so yeah we're on our way to Uniondale we're going to move now so see you when we're there thanks all right guys so we're here at the roadblock uh, on our way to Uniondale um, I just felt when Joyce walked past the, the bucky that she had back pain so I got out and prayed for her and, and Joyce your pain is gone yeah, all the pain has left the back and she, she feels good so we're going to continue while we're still waiting at the roadblock uh, so but thank you Joyce allowing us to pray for you eh? yes, sir. Okay guys, so we arrived in Uniondale, uh, we busy driving into this, you just saw, uh, we're going to go to the town centre which is very, very small, um, and we're going to start to see what the Holy Spirit is showing us in this area here, um, so we'll later on move to the, to the communities and see there, but we're just going to hang around here and see what, what we can do, we've, so far we've had an awesome morning, we really prayed for a couple of people, saw some healings, um, so yeah, it's been an awesome morning so far. So we just, we're just happy to see what the Lord is really busy with this morning, and we uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna do here. My line is driving here next to me. Uh, thanks the Lord. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll try and see if we can record some clips just to show you guys what we're doing and, and all that. Thank you. Ja, 
Volg er in jou lijf, wat kan je hoe toetsen je om? Hoe kan je voelen? Is daar nog een beetje pijn in zee voor ons? Is daar nog pijn of is dit alles weg? Toets om, toets om, zee voor ons. Ons lijf voelen, is daar nog iets om te zien? Is er nog pijn in zee voor ons? Je in die arm. In die arm? Ja, oké. Okay. Ja. 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 Uh, in the shoulder, uh, so muscle pain she's just got. Um, Johan is praying for the gentleman there. Um, he had ankle problems. He says he can't feel any pain anymore. He had lots of pain. Johan is busy praying for his for his arm now at the moment there. And Milan is uh, still busy with her here on this side. She's testing it. Any pain? Niks. Ja. Nothing left. Ja. Voel hem lekker, is daar niks, ons alles moet wegwees. Is daar nog een biekje is, hé? Is hem terugtrek? Hmm. Okay, so she was in an accident and the, she said her uh, yeah, one leg is shorter than the other one. It is so long, it is massive. That's all to do with the accident chair, so she's, she's struggling walking with this. 
So my land's going to pray for for that leg to grow out in Jesus' name. Nog een bikkie. Nog een bikkie. Nog een bikkie. Nou, van je zus daar zijn. Nou, kom maar, kom maar. Kan je voel iets gebeuren in hier hebben? Kan nog een klein bikkie, nee? Ja, een klein bikkie nog. Oké, laatste bikkie. Rechte been, laatste bikkie uit hier hebben. Dankie. Dankie, Jere. Als hij. Spring uit. Als hij kan voel, voel spring door. Uh, she's just gonna walk and see if she can feel the, feel a difference in her legs. She's saying it's a lot better than previously. <laughs> yeah, happy now. We're just walking uh, through the streets, uh, stopping at people randomly, and. Uh, just asking for if they need any prayer or anything that we can we can pray for them. So you can see the, the streets are very quiet in the small town. There's not a lot in in the town itself. Small shops, and you will also see there's a lot of liquor stores in this town. So um, yeah, a lot of people will be drinking, and that's one of the main things they do here is drink, as there's nothing else to do in this little small community. Okay, hi, I'm here with Jocelyn. Um, she's complaining about her ankle pain uh, in her ankle. So, let's see if I can get this on the, on the video. There we go. There. Her ankle. So, I'm going to pray for this ankle first. And Jesus is going to heal her ankle of all the pain that's, that she's got there. Okay. Father in Jesus' name, we command this ankle to be healed. Fully healed this ankle. All pain leave. All pain leave now in Jesus' name. Go on. Okay, stand for your point. Put some look, walk on the leg and feel it. Okay, as you can see, she's testing it out. But I even have a point, you need to All gone. Good. Huh? Say so thank you, Jesus. Okay, it's 20 to 12 now in the afternoon or in the morning. Um, we're just getting something to, to eat. As you can see, Malan is eating a samosa there. Um, we're a bit hungry. It's extremely hot here. You can look outside. It is hot and dry. So, um, just to give a recap of what we've done so far, you will see a couple of people that we've video clipped that we've prayed for, but a lot of them we didn't video clip where the opportunity just wasn't there. Um, we had an awesome experience with a couple walking out of a funeral, um, and he just said that he had a problem of way back that happened in the operation, and we just prayed for him, and all of a sudden he started reacting and that he's got no more pain in his body and everything, and we didn't even know he had pain in his body because he didn't say anything. So that was a, a, a big thing for him. He was very, very pleased with what, what, what happened and it was a big eye opener for him. We went to the police station. We had an awesome time at the police station, giving word to people, ministering to people. We had an awesome time with the station commander here in Uniondale. Um, the staff, we prayed for them, gave them word. So the Lord just opened up um, his heart to those people there um, for what they're standing for in the police service in this community um, so we had an awesome time there so we, we're gonna try and find Johan and Niku they somehow disappeared we lost them um, when we were busy with the with the other couple at the church so um, just to say also the couple of the church they're out of a, a Dutch reformed background so they're not used to people praying for them and seeing any form of healing so it was something um, big for them to, to, to see for the first time so that, that made it so much more awesome so we're going to go out now, we're not finished, we're going to do this the whole day, but we're going to go look for where Johan and Niku is now, because there's probably somewhere praying. All right, All right. Malan. <laughs> we're going to eat Malan's now. Malan nice. We're going to eat now. Praise the Lord, he's good all the time. <laughs> Cornelius has got some back problems. Johan is praying for his back, really. 
For those that don't understand, this is a very Afrikaans speaking community. So he's busy praying in Afrikaans. He's saying he's a bit better. He wants us praying for the knees. He's got Sit, <laughs> Dank je, Jere. Jezus, nog rechterbeen, nog zo klein bykie. Kom uit. Uit. Nog bykie. Groei. Toets gaat die recht in die benen en die achterkie beweeg. Beweeg om so bykie en kijk jy hoe voel hy. Is hy enige pijn nou nog? Niks nie. Niks nie. All the pains left, he's saying, all the pains left in his knees and his back. Ek kan nie so maak nie. Nou kan nie. He said he couldn't do that before. Want as ek nou in tweeën maak. Hmm, beweeg. Werkom, werkom, jy het nou nieuwe rug. Nieuwe rug, jy het nieuwe knieën. Kijk nou hier. Ja. He said he couldn't do that before. That's why the year of Gandhi. He's saying he couldn't do that. Johan is just going to do a, a, a prayer for him, just a normal prayer, and just to bless him and his family. The other thing, I've come in the air, I'm going to pay now, I'm going to pay now, I'm going to pay now, Ken jullie van Jesus? Jesus, jullie ken hem? Hou jullie van hem? Mooi, groot mannen. As you can see, this is a community, a poor community. We've been praying in houses, sharing the gospel, praying for healing. It's in the middle of, in the heart of Uniondale. Okay, so we're still here busy in the, in the community. We're praying and we're going from house to house, praying. Um, see a lot of alcohol abuse. Poverty. Um, we're just busy here. We're waiting for the other two guys. As you can see, they're on their way down there somewhere. Let's see where they are. Oh, there they're coming. Um, they were busy on the other side of the valley there. So uh, we're going to go to a couple of more houses and then we we'll see where we end up from there. All right, keep you posted. Yeah, we are in the spa. Just to get some refreshments, it's extremely hot outside, it's nice and cool in here. She's also complaining of back pain, they called us to, to pray for her. Joanne is praying for her back. Feet. He's got pain in his feet. He just came from the hospital. You can see there on his foot there. Okay, it's now 3.40 in the afternoon. We're on our way to Willamore. It's about 60 k's from Uniondale. Malang felt we should go there. So, we're on our way to 
to Willamore to see what we can do there. We had an awesome time in, in Uniondale so far this morning. Um, so we're on our way to, to see what's in Willamore. Johan is here at the back. Hello Johan. Hello. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens then. We'll, we'll let you know. Okay, we are hiding from the sun in, I don't know, a restaurant in Willamore. We're going to have a milk shake and, uh, and some chips. So it's a nice cool place out of the sun. So we're sitting, you can see the people sitting outside. So we'll move from here and see where we're going to end up. Hi guys, we're here at the caravan park in Willamore. Very peaceful here. Uh, just to give you the idea <laughs> of our sleeping arrangements for the evening, uh, we just came in here. And it's what time now? What's the time? Just before six. Just before six in the evening. So <laughs> that was Ron <laughs> breaking his tent yeah, peg. The hammer is broken. <laughs> Uh, just to give you an idea, this is my tent. It's nice and spacious. You can see it's nice and spacious in there. Uh, since I'm the second tallest, Johannes is shortest. Uh, there's he busy trying to get his tent big in. He's also got a nice size tent, actually exactly the same than mine. You've got a decent size tent, there with lots of space. Uh, there's the tallest guy around us, Milan. That's his tent. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> so we hope he's gonna fit into that thing there. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you know the morning how it goes. But uh, uh, his feet actually sticks out when he's just lying in the tent. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. But yes, yeah, so just to give you an idea where we're gonna sleep, it's gonna be a bit hard. Um, we didn't pack anything for mattresses in that way. Actually, my lad's got a mattress for that small tent. He's got a mattress. Uh, Johanna and myself hasn't got anything, so uh, we're just uh, getting the tents up. Um, we're still going to go into town still, uh, just to walk around there, even though there's not a lot happening in the town this in the evening. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like nothing. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted. So we're getting to the end of the day. We saw a lot of awesome things and saw a lot of bad things. Just, just a, um, just something weird. Uh, I know it's all over the place, the same thing. But it was just when we were in Uniondale, we counted how many churches we count there? About six, at least. Six churches. Yeah. That's in the main road, and the main road is not even a kilometer. It's like six churches, and then in the community, there's also like three, four, five churches, and one huge, massive church. But it is such a small community, but. That community is so poor and so full of alcohol. There's, I think, maybe one church more than the liquor stores in that town. So there's so much alcohol being consumed in that town. All the houses we went to, the people were drinking. Um, it's a common thing there. So on each corner you've got your church, and on the opposite corner you've got, a, you've got your bottle store. So it's actually sad to see that... There's so many churches in such a small community, but you can't see anything on the, in ground roots. There's no evidence of anything happening there or being done there. So it's, it's actually a shame. And it's, it's not to blame for the churches. It's just to show you where we are. Um, now things need to be, be corrected in the body. Um, so yeah, in Willowmore, is actually more or less the same. I think it's a bit less churches that we could see. There's big churches here, but not that much. Lots of liquor, liquor stores here. But yeah, it's just sad to see in these small little communities, everything is about drinking, everything. That's all they do here is drink. Um, I suppose there's nothing else they want to do in these small communities, but it's sad to see that alcohol is one of the main things that, that keeps them busy. And, and all of and, them go to church on Sundays. They all say they church people, but as soon as we bring in the miracles, the power of God, then something changes because they're fed up with people preaching and saying, oh, do this or do that. And, I don't want another preach and when we do the healings then something happens then something real starts happening but they all go to sun church on sundays but they all currently they're all drunk and it's there's a lot going on in there so it's, it's just sad to see that it's all church going people there 
Yeah. Yeah, that just that just shows there's something wrong with the body. Yeah. Something is not being done or it's not done correctly because all church going people there's enough churches for all of them. There's, I don't think that I don't think there's more place in the church than there's people in the towns. But uh, um, yeah, when you speak to the people, it's, it's bad and it's it's sad to see the poverty and illness and disease and alcohol. I mean, there's not one house we went into that the people were not drunk already. And that was like say you're from 12 o'clock onwards, people were drinking. Uh, so. Uh, it just goes to show there's there's a lot of work out there the harvest are are open and uh, just we're just looking for the harvesters so yeah so we're looking forward to a nice evening sleeping here on the grass as you can see if you look around here to the back of me that's the only patch of grass that's available that's that's hard to sleep there so we chose not to sleep there we chose this nice spot here where where there's some nice lawn here so you can see there's the lawn and Johan is still busy trying to get his tent up and he's obviously struggling he's not used to doing that well, this is our hammer yeah <laughs> that's cool. how prepared we are yeah. <laughs> all right but um, we'll keep you posted and thanks uh, so far for an awesome day we thank the lord for this awesome day that we've had so far um uh, we saw wonderful things happening sad things but it's it's all worth it at the end of the day just to show you guys that you can walk out in faith and things still does happen. She's complaining about back problems in her lower back. Um, well, one leg is shorter than the other. We just showed her. Uh, Johanna's going to pray for her now. So I next minute, no. Hi, we are in the streets in the town. Um, look at this awesome thing here as you come into the town. I'll put a photo of it on the on the wall there. John 3.3 3. You've got to be born again to enter the kingdom of God. Nice rustic effect they've got here as you enter into town. John 3.3 3. Uh, we're just checking out yeah we've prayed for people you will see in the video at the shops at the at the food shops so we're going to go to others just around the corner here it's still like seven o'clock in the evening here um johannes in uh, that house there busy praying for somebody there so he's busy ministering to people in there we're waiting outside we don't want to all want to go in there um so we're hanging out in the street you can see there maybe if you can see at the back over there there's lots of people still walking we're gonna go that way now so uh it's just extremely quiet in the street you can see here look it's dead still in the street here but yeah we've seen awesome stuff so far just by walking around we took a swim i might put a photo of that on there but we took a swim uh so we feel a lot better after this hot day we've got a nice tan sunburn here um, but yeah, we feel good now. So we're gonna walk around and uh, grab something to eat here at this local spot um, But uh, we'll see if we can find some more people to pray before we go and eat Hi, good morning. It's it's Sunday morning. We in Willemore's community You can see behind me as I'm moving around in their community You're just walking around. We had a breakfast this morning at a nice place and um, beautiful people there uh, So we just drove through the community um, you can hear here there's the churches and some we just saw one house church here um, we prayed for a couple of people here in the streets you are missing that in the house there behind me he's busy there praying for people um, so we're just walking around the streets and just to see what, what's going on so we'll keep you up to date we'll, we'll be busy this morning and then we'll be on our way back to George
heb mijn lieve benen, want spreek nou hierdie en gaat het rechter been. En Jesus dan kom uit, en Jesus dan schiet alles los. Je hebt een rug. Meer, 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 nog een beetje. Meer, meer. Okay. Meer, 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 meer. Meer, 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 meer. Dank je, Jesus. Dank je, Jesus. We volle herstel naar die rug, naar die jip. Niks meer pijn in je lichaam niet. Alles wat vast is, is nou los. De feet came together there. Meer, meer. Moved the last bit. Meer. Rechterbeen nog. Nog. Rechterbeen. Rechterbeen nog, Piki. Kom uit. Uit. Alles schiet los. Als zij. Nog, Piki. Kom uit. Uit, 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 uit. Kom uit. Rechterbeen, kom uit. Kom uit. Nog, Piki. In Jesus naam, kom uit. Als zij. Met die gebeur sit, dan check jy om gebeur. Dan gaan ek vinnig opstaan en bees sit, en dan gaan ek weer voor ons survive. Ons nie op headache, she's in a work place at the moment, in the restaurant, so we're just gonna pray for a headache to, to go away in Jesus name, okay? So headache, in Jesus name, we're gonna leave this body now. Okay, yeah. All pain we're gone now in Jesus name. Okay, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Sê ons dan nog een beetje eers, hoe voel die hoofdpijn nou eers? Hoe voel hom eers, hoe is dan nog enige pijn oor? Beetje niks. Nou was pijn geweest nou nie. Alle stabiliteit in die brein terug nou. Alle stabiliteit terug in die brein. Vroeg hoe waar enige pijn is of iets? Dreig. Ok, nou gaan ons hier die gejebe. Ok, vader. Dit is nou net zo, dit is nou ontspan lekker. Vader, hierdie wat sy sê van die gejeer wat die probleem is, Vader, kom staan die enig, werk met die vijf wat hy in die lichaam wil inbring hier. En Jesus is dan beveel as hierdie brein om normaal te functioneer, normaal terug te verkeer. Alles wat by brein verlies of gejeer verlies wil veroorzaak, staan ons tegen hier en bid die bloed oor het, ek werk hier toe met die bloed hier, die beskerm het, die beskerm haal, hier en hierdie werk met die vijf wat hy nou gekom. Voel die kop dan. Milan is praying for her. She's complaining of pain in the feet, of standing too long. So she's just uh, praying for her that uh, she feels refreshed to carry on working. And then he's just going to do a general prayer for her, for her as a person. Test hulle. Koel hulle. Ja, nee, dat is beter. Waar is daar nog een biekie? Wat ene nog een biekie? Nog die ene voel nog so bij je. Die ene nog? Ja. En die ene? Zij er? Ja, hij is nou recht. Oké, oké. Ja, nee, hij is er recht. Is daar enige pijn nog? Is daar nog een biekie pijn? Niks nie. Is daar nie een titselkie sê vir ons? Sikker, jy hebt een tijdje een biekie met jou recht ook. Biekie laag. Alles, werwels, kom in lijn met die koninkrijk nou. Kom rechter weer uit. 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 Nog, 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 nog. Kom nog uit, skiet los, skiet los. Skiet los en geen meer pijn sal toegelaat word in die lichaam nie. Hoe lyk hy nou? Hy lyk hier recht klein zo. Ok. Sta nou in toets goed by buiten die voorhang toe en bid vir kind beweeg. Okay, so we're on our way back from Willemore, we're on our way to George. Um, we had an awesome time this morning, after we went out of the community, we went to the, the restaurant where we had breakfast this morning. We just felt led to go pray for the for the owner there, a lady there. And we, uh, Malana and myself, we prayed for the lady. And uh, as we walked out, uh, Johan prayed for the car guard that had a, a problem in his legs. The one leg was a lot shorter, you would see it in the video watched it you would have seen it but what followed after that is um, one of the staff members in that restaurant of the owner that we prayed for saw us praying um, 
so I was praying for the for the for the car guard and I walked up to and asked her if she wanted to pray and she said yes please and uh, we started praying for and as you would see some of them are on the video but we didn't uh, take videos of everything that happened there but a lot of the staff of the restaurant came for prayer we um, two of them gave their hearts to Jesus um, repented and uh, just committed to following Jesus so that was awesome to see but yes just in, in that one business where we prayed for the owner we prayed like I don't know how many four five six staff members that we prayed for and um, where two gave their hearts to Jesus and we saw you like you've seen in the in some of them on the on the video that uh, the legs grew and uh, just normal prayer yeah, all of them were healed uh, for what they wanted us wanted to pray for so that's just in one business where that happened and then, uh, it, the time just flew past when we were busy with that we didn't have to go anywhere else just by being there uh, the Lord just opened up the doors and and as I will put a photo that or you've just probably seen the photo but I won't put it in but um, there was a statue there uh, that Milan picked up uh, as you entered into that courtyard of uh, I think it's a Hindu God that's in the courtyard where we prayed and uh, that thing has been there for I don't know how long and we just walked in there and the Spirit of God just entered in that in that courtyard and, and he did what he wanted to do um, that God had no influence or any power there uh, it meant nothing actually uh, it's dead yeah, you don't even have to take notice of it but when Jesus came in there he did the healing he brought people to repentance he touched their hearts with his love and moved um, that thing is just proof of how dead it is and, and how alive he is so all all glory to, to Jesus and what happened then to the Father for, for opening that door for us there and Holy Spirit just ministering to the people and, and helping them there and we all had a, an awesome time there uh, so yes uh, we're on our way back now uh, to George I think it's now about nearly one o'clock in the afternoon so time just flew past this morning just an interesting thing when we went in the community there were lots of church activity um, in little houses what just was, was funny for us is we spoke to some of them there that was busy with this day oh, that was busy with their meetings there um, none of them invited us in or anything that allowed us to pray or but as we walked down the streets the people in their houses invited us in and we could pray there and they were so open for it but where the church gatherings and meetings is um, people yeah, it was just weird to, to, to witness that again um, and just a proof of how open the people are and how broken they are in their houses you would see in the video that you just saw um, how poor some of their houses look inside and the need that's there and all any there's nothing that can help them except Jesus so it's just such a honor for us to, to, to be allowed to go into those houses and just to to release Jesus into their lives and just to show to them that it's real um, there where they are in their poverty or in their sickness or disease or illness whatever the case may be that is that is actually there with them uh, and he wants to be part of their life so it was just something again we noticed this morning how things are twisted in the body uh, it should not be that way uh, but yes still Jesus moves when he wants to move he doesn't get boxed in anything that he, he just does what he wants to do so we give all honor to God uh, for this for this weekend. We saw a lot of things. All of us learned a lot. And that's one of the main purposes we go out is to learn. That the Holy Spirit can teach us by doing what we're doing. We want to learn, so He teaches us daily in what we walk. Um, and just to show to you guys that when you when you step out in faith, He's there, uh, and He wants to do this with you. He wants to He wants to uh, work and flow through you as his vessel and we are more than willing for him to use us uh, in doing this so you guys can also step out and just trust him uh, hook up with somebody get somebody that's walking this walk and and do it with someone uh, it's difficult on your own do it with someone and and realize and, and come to know the real gospel that is not just preaching but it's 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 walking this um, daily. It's a it's a lifestyle. It's not a 
religious exercise or religious knowledge that you've got in your mind of knowing the Bible verses, you can actually walk this and live this to people and just be there for them and just release Father's love on people so that they they want that love that they see in you, uh, that He places inside of you, of Him being uh, and staying inside of us, Christ in us. That's the hope of glory. All right, so thanks again. I'll, um, when we do this again, uh, um, we'll take another video whenever we do this again. But I wanted to do, make this video like a vlog style so that you guys can actually see as we're moving what we're doing and everything from the more serious stuff to the funny stuff to to the lay back, whatever we do. But it, always the focus is Jesus and everything we do. And there's a lot of fun in Jesus. Yeah. He, he likes to... to with you in the funny stuff and in the serious stuff <laughs> all right so it's not always just serious he the holy spirit likes playing and working with us so he does it anyway which way he wants to do it so thank you once again for watching this and um, step out hook up with people come to our school um, and start living this life it's for everybody it's not just for a elect group it's for everybody to walk in you can still have your job you don't have to be in ministry um, but you can you can love on people and in your job, wherever you are, you can show people that this is a living, breathing God that we're serving and he wants to be part of our lives every day. Alright, thank you guys. Stay blessed.